a question that many observers of the Horn of Africa have been asking themselves um, is really about the fate of twin political transitions in Sudan, Ethiopia, that in their initial form, many hoped uh, would lead uh, to full democratic politics in both countries. And I think there are many reasons why those uh, transitions have come up short. Much of it has to do with the internal politics of both countries. In Ethiopia, of course, uh, we have seen escalating ethnic violence and an increase in intra-elite competition has really limited the scope and possibilities of democratic politics. Uh, in Sudan, we've seen the military, a historic power broker in the country's affairs, kind of reassert uh, its authority over the country's political space. And that, again, has limited the possibilities of democratic politics. But I think one also needs to recognize there is an external a dimension to what has happened in both of these countries. And there are some very strong uh, geopolitical headwinds that limited a democratic transition. There are a number of actors, external actors, regionally and outside the region, uh, who, for one reason or another, have sought to support autocratic elites uh, in both countries um, and, and allow them to consolidate and maintain their political authority. 